the kids come into this room, they can see what some of your expectations are the of them. are also good on your doors. So when the kids come in and teachers come in, they can see what is your um, standards, what is your vision. They're also good, like for instance, we have um, some uh, Vision, visual, okay. Visuals are good too because you can have visuals for um, discipline and rules. You can have visuals that the kids can show you where it hurts. All right, you can have visuals. This was from um, Bethany Chapel where you can have your PE rules. Okay, and then you can also remind them of the rules during COVID working on our journals okay where we might be turning around all right and maybe discussing what physical health is all right so we use our visuals all right and it allows the student to not only this is our nutrition to allow the student to bring in visuals for explanations for tellbacks and it helps them with everything that they're doing so we use them in our wellness journals. Having visuals on your equipment cases are really great because not only do you have the words that for the students who can read and the aids, but also you have a picture card on it. So then the students who aren't reading can see the picture itself. Some of the containers that the balls are in. Now using your cards, to let the students know what's on your schedule, okay? So if we do the warm up, all right, and then we have dance and playing ball skills, then we're gonna do a game and then yoga for the ending, then you can always turn around and do where, check, we finished that activity. Check, we finished that activity and all. Or you can have Another one where we turn around and we kind of put what our warm up is. Okay. All right. So we're going to do on the schedule, we're going to warm up using the balance ball. Then we're going to dance and then I would put the kind of dance it is. All right. Around the world, we would do a Great Barrier Reef uh, reading um, Andy Hare's book about him learning how to swim in the Great Barrier Reef, all right? And then we would do our swimming activity. And then croquet, we would be using the big beach ball. So that's another way. We also have a lot of people that like to use um, choice boards, like when we're working with skills or as a reward at the end of the period or maybe working on a specific goal and all where they can look at their goals, which would be the... Um, cards that are on the board and you just make your board to be your goal board all right because we always have to have a purpose as to play even if it's for fun um, socialization right learning new things creating a game uh, reviewing skills for a game that maybe not in unit but they want to play again all right these are perfect opportunities for choice boards Visuals are great when you're teaching a lesson. Here we have movie, moving and listening to music. So the, the students get a, an idea what my visual is. We learn the movement for that visual. And then we use it throughout our lessons where I might have these visual cards in a smaller fashion or maybe linked together on a snowflake or a valentine card or something that has put choreography together and also it's a really great lesson right and then like over here 
we use our ver- we use our ver- uh, visuals, uh, visuals for uh, move uh, by uh, move, to uh, the move to the beat. So we have clapping, so we have and, clapping and stomping and pumping and snapping and slapping and and tapping our and foot, tapping so our foot. So it's all our body percussions. And then we use visuals to show them. Well, what's the sequencing in our song? In our song. So now they get used to these, and then we put it. Like I said, we learn choreography. We learn all the different things that we can do with our cards. Sometimes I'll take a card of something with the music and the beat, and then this music and the beat now becomes part of. Let's see. Student one has a sway. Student two has a shake. Student three has a bop. Student four has a swing. Student five has a turn, and student six has the jumping. Now we go through it, and we do sway, shake, sway, shake, swing, shay, shake, shay, shake, swing, and then we put them to the music, like with a four count, an eight count, and they know all these things because they have the visual card with them too. Games, and we put those on our cards for choice. All right. We also have our sports and our fitness board. And here are some of the equipment and all. And then we have lifetime, rhythm, mobility, and nutrition.